Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Bradshaw. And I'm Brenna Rose. PSO is looking to raise power bills even higher. The power company says it's necessary to maintain the grid. News Tally Sam Gelfan live tonight outside PSO's downtown Tulsa headquarters. And Sam, it feels like we've heard this before. Mark, Brenna, if this rate increase is approved, it will be the third one in 12 months. One was approved last December, one in February, and now this one proposed in November. PSO spokesperson Wayne Green says he hears you. No one's happy about high prices, uh, including us. In 2021, the Energy Information Administration says Oklahoma was 36th in residential energy costs. In just one year, it's climbed to 29th. But Green doesn't think that's relevant. PSO rates have historically been uh, below state, regional, and national averages. This proposal would create the largest increase in some time. December's hike raised the average bill by $5. February's grew it by $4. But this proposed hike would raise rates by a whopping $14. Uh, this is an investment in resilience. This is, this is to make sure that uh, outages are smaller, shorter, and more confined. Green says the rate hikes would pay for investments in alternative energy, which would actually create savings for customers further down the line. This is a, 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 an important shield to our customers against the, the potential inflation of, uh, of fuel costs. He says it's a lesson they learned after 2021's winter storms, as one of this year's rate hikes was to pay for that storm's fuel costs. So obviously, if we have fuel-free uh, power added to the uh, our generating portfolio, the result is uh, less exposure to uh, fuel costs. Still, a survey from July by Amber Integrated found 54% of Oklahomans think electricity prices are too high. Reaction to the proposal on our Facebook page has been less than positive, but Green says people will warm up to it. We're confident that uh, th these investments will result in real benefits for our customers and long-term savings. This is actually PSO's second proposed rate increase of the past week. The other one would take effect at the end of 2025. That $3.50 increase would be used to pay for new solar farms and wind turbines. Reporting live from downtown Tulsa, Sam Gelfand, News Channel 8.